Bitch, Man, I ain't got nothing but some pussy and some paper. Okay, about 30 minutes ago, I got home from school and I went to the website I always go to, psgroove.com. And I seen that Fuck PSN 0.6 had came out. And what this does, it is, it takes, it spoofs your console's ID. I was like, man, I really miss the PSN. But every time I tried to click on this Fuck PSN application, it would crash on me. So I did a lot of research and I came up with my own way of how to get Fuck PSN to work. And just to prove it's working, I'm going to start it up. Okay, and usually by now, it would have crashed. So I'm just going to exit out of here. I got a video proving that it works with the PlayStation Network. I'm just going to show you how to do it first. Okay? So we're going to head over here to start. Once you're in the start, you're going to click on your control panel. Now, I'm sorry if this is blurry. I'm doing it from my iPhone. And we're going to go up here. We're going to type in Windows Firewall. And mine automatically pops up. You're going to click on this advanced settings. Now, at the top left, it's going to say inbound rules. Click on that. Go over here to your right and click on new rule. Now, you're going to have to open ports. You're going to have to have port 53, 80, and 443 open. But since 80 is the most important, we're just going to go ahead and do this one. As you can see, there's a TCP and a UDP. So we're going to have to go through this process twice. You're going to choose the TCP for the first one. And after you save this, you're going to come back and do the exact same thing. But make sure you click on the UDP tab. Now, you have to specify, specify which local port you want open. So we're going to click on 80. Allow the connection. Next. And you want all of these tabs checked. Next, and you're going to name it Fuck P. Sorry, I'm doing this one hand. Fuck P S N. And you're going to click finish. Now I already have this, so I'm not going to do it. But once you have that tab, you're going to scroll all the way down and see, see Ruby. Now, if you get to something like this, you're going to double click on it, and I want you to click allow the connection. Now, I'm not going to allow the connection because it's automatically going to cancel some once it's working. But I don't know which ones. So you're going to go and double click every single one and click allow access. Just again, allow the connection or whatever. You want to exit this. Okay. Now, I'm going to post the link in the description for this application. But for right now, it's called Seaports. You're going to want to download this. And we're looking for what ports are open or what ports are running the 53, 80, and 443. Now, when you get to the screen, it's going to be like this. Now, I want you to click the local tab, and it's going to start from smallest number to greatest. Now, for me, originally, when I came here, it said port 80. I didn't do anything because it said system. Now, if it says something like Skype right here, you're going to right-click, and you're going to kill process of selected ports. So anything that doesn't say system that's running on either 53, 80, or 443, you're going to want to do that. Now you're basically done. All you want to do here from here is reset your computer. And as soon as your system starts, do not wait. Rush over here, click on the tab, and you got it. Because what this is doing is it's putting the fuck PSN first about a, above any other tasks and from there it'll work always.